guys, welcome to another episode of DIY Handheld for Dummies. And it is obvious that we are going to talk about Dick Friend and Emulator. So let me explain it first. I think many people get confused because there is an emulator and with the app's name, but it is not a no, not an emulator, but just an app that um. You can use it as an interface to gather all those emulators in one place without going to uh, different emulators when you change your games. Let's say it's more like a hub or just a better interface. Since the whole thing can look very different after changing the theme, I would prefer changing it at first before I do anything in order to adjust all those settings. This theme was created for Retro Pocket 2 by Evans, but I also use it for my other consoles as well. Evans also created two other themes, and I actually asked him to make a, a modified version for me, and it was named after me. So I'll put down the link just, to those um, the theme that I'm showing you box. here. You can check um, that out. I changed also, the I just icon want to say that I made so some you may changes find it a little bit different icons from what in you this download theme. for. So it may not look exactly the same as uh, what I'm showing you here. But that's it. So now it is important to choose three features in the app so that um, you can use them during your settings. Um, they are free for the first three options. So I would choose ignore files. And then I would also um, choose collections here. And then um, I'll choose game image search. Ignore files just to hide all the files that you don't want to show. Game image search allows you to search through um, search the box ads through Google and download them. So you can find it here uh, go to set image and download it through browser. And then after downloading um, any image, it will automatically turn into the box art of it. Of course, you can adjust it manually or you can put it into a file and input them. But sometimes uh, when you do this for the first time, this feature is very handy. So now you can see it's here. Now let's look at how to ignore a file. So long press the box art and go to manage file and then you can go to ignore it. And you can also unignore the file, go to settings and then scroll down and then go to manage system. Then you will find the unignore option, unignore file options here. Okay, so let's go back to the basics. If the particular system you want is not here, you can go to the options and click all systems to show all system and then find the one you want. The next thing you want to do is to scan the ROMs manually. So by doing that, you can click option and scroll down. And then you can click manage system, you can change the ROM paths for that specific um, system so that you can scan your ROMs and add it. After that, you can uncheck the all system box so that you can hide all those unnecessary systems. Next, if you have a specific emulator you want to use, you can go to options and then scroll down to manage system. And then the first option is edit emulators so you can change the app for a particular system. But not all apps are available. Next, if you want to change the size of your icons, you can go to option and fill sets and change the icon aspect ratio. It is not a must to do, it just make your icons look better on your screen. So I actually spent quite some time on adjusting it until I feel I was satisfied. But if you don't care about that, you can totally skip this part. And you can also change the icon expert ratio to match your screen um, in the same section. 
So that's all for all the basics and let's move on to how to use RetroArch with that because many people ask me about that. So when I taught people how to set up RetroArt and Dig, uh, most of the people ask me how to reflect your configurations when you use Dig. So first, make sure you save your configuration and you can go to a configuration file to make sure that you load up the correct configuration. I would say save current configuration would be good enough, but well, you can also save a new one if it doesn't work for you. Then you can go to that particular system, go to option and then go to manage system, then go to retro art overlay and go to default overlaid and that's it but also you have to set it for each system so as long as that system um, is using RetroArch as the emulator you will have to set it one by one once you have done that you should be good to go before i teach you how to launch directly and automatically into Dick Frenan emulator right after turning on your phone, there's one more thing you have to set up. This, the bar launcher. Some of the functional apps like the Google Play Store and some kind of file browsers or things, they do not show up in the, in no matter how you you try because they are not served at this game. So um, it would be a disaster if I cannot access these apps. So I would set up bar launcher to um, make it possible to launch these apps from my uh, notification center. After that, head to your single app launcher. So there is a pop-up saying that you can exit this launcher by pressing two times of home. So that is important. If you are stuck, you should try that. So um, other than that, just click the front end emulator for uh, setting it as our um, default app for the launcher, then you can turn off turn off your phone and try to turn it on back. So to see the magic of it, we will be able to launch it directly into um, the emulator, so that um, we don't have to, you know, go through all those clicking process in on our phone, it will feel a lot more like a handheld rather than a phone. So that's what I do when I set up all my consoles. I do this for um, Retro Pocket 2 as well so that I don't have to go through that ugly Android interface, you know, like just like this. It just goes directly into Dick M uh Dick Frenand. So this is very, very good. And it well, it takes time to set up. Um as long as for those who um do this for the first time and they if you don't have any box ads and you don't have um any idea of which emulator that you are going to use, then it will definitely take time but other than that, this is the perfect setup that I have found. At least for me, this is the perfect setup and I will use this forever. So even though we are using this launcher, uh, we can still use the bar launcher together. So we will not have any problem when we are not able to access to these apps uh, due to some limitations in different and launcher. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, you can feel free to leave your comment below in my comment section. I know sometimes that my comment section is closed by YouTube automatically and I don't know why, but I'll try to fix it. Um, and I'll keep on checking it if uh, to see if it is closed or not. So that's it. Thank you. Bye.